Hello everyone. In today's session, we will understand the enterprise structure in Oracle Fusion. Now, what is the purpose of understanding the enterprise structure in Oracle Fusion? First thing, it helps us to define the business flow as well as to implement the system for our client. Okay. And on the other hand, whenever we are having discussions with the client, we can take all the requirements at a granular level to define this enterprise structure. Okay. So diagram that we are seeing in front of us is the skeleton of our enterprise structure and how it looks like in the Oracle system. Okay. Now the first thing that we have to define in the enterprise structure is the enterprise. Now what is the enterprise? Enterprise is a hypothetical structure that is defined in Oracle Fusion. Okay. It acts as an umbrella for defining our ledgers, our legal entities, our business units, our warehouses. Okay. So all the uh, entities that we are defining in the fusion instance comes under our enterprise. Okay. There can be only one enterprise structure per instance. Okay. So if you are purchasing Oracle instance, then you can define only one enterprise. Okay. To explain it in the simple words, if Tata is procuring Oracle instance for their business purposes, you can't have the Reliance also working in the same instance. Okay. So the URL for the enterprise would be different. URL for Reliance Industries would be different. Okay. Now let's take example of a Tata Enterprise. Okay. So if Tata Enterprise goes and procure Oracle instances, it can only have its own the legal entities like TCS, Tata Consumers, Tata Steel. Only those entities that comes under Tata Enterprise can work in that instance. Okay. Next thing that we see in the diagram is division. Okay. Now, what is a division? Division of enterprise structure is based on either business vertical or the geography. Okay. Let's say you have 15 to 20 companies working under Tata Enterprise. Okay. Now, the division of those companies would be either based on their business vertical or they will be based on the geography in which they are working. Okay. Now, let's say TCS. TCS is working under IT vertical. Okay. So, it's a different vertical. So, the one division would be for TCS. Another is Tata Chemical. Tata Chemical is based in the chemical industry. Okay. The business vertical of TCS and Tata Chemical are different. So, this there will be two divisions. Again, let's say another take example of Tata consumer products. So, Tata consumer products works in the food industry. Okay. So, it will be another division. Okay. So, these three were based on the divisions of their businesses. Now, let's take example of Tata Motors. Now, Tata Motors is based out of India. Tata Motors is based out of China. So, the division would be based on geography. Okay. So, Tata Motors would be two divisions in our enterprise structure. Okay. So, this is the purpose of division and on the left side you can see in the pictorial representation you can see either it's based on the businesses or it's based on the geography. Okay. The next thing that you see under division is the ledger. Okay. First thing that you will notice what is written here is primary ledger. Okay. So, why they are not written only ledger? Why they are mentioned in primary ledger? The reason is Oracle has two types of ledgers. It's primary ledger and subsidiary ledger. Okay. Those are also called as sub ledgers. So, our payables, our receivables, our assets, all those are sub ledgers. But primary ledger is the ledger where all the transaction from all the sub ledgers are stored. Okay. So, it is like a book that records all your transactions. Okay. So, all the legal entities has to post the transactions from their sub ledgers to primary ledgers. So, this primary ledger acts as a single source of truth. 
any data that has gone into primary ledger and has been posted into the ledger cannot be deleted okay that data cannot be deleted although it can be reversed but it cannot be deleted okay now ledger in fusions have four objects attached to them chart of account calendar currency and accounting method so these are four c's okay chart of account is how all the segments of your structure is defined chart of account also we will be discussing in our next session in more detail calendar is what calendar you follow for your accounting is it from april to march or january to december like that currency now based on your geography your currency would be defined if you are working in india it would be in rupees if you are working in us it would be in dollars okay like that you will be having currency defined for your ledger and accounting method what type of accounting method you are going to follow okay so all these components are attached to your ledger okay now since all your transactions is reported into this ledger your ledger acts as a single source of truth and all your reporting your financial reporting your management reporting your tax reporting would be done from the ledger okay next thing that we see is the legal entity okay now what is a legal entity legal entity is a registered entity with the local government okay they have right to trade they can hire employees they have to pay taxes and they have to do financial reporting okay now since legal entity is registered under the laws of the government they have to abide the laws and they have to you know do all the reportings all the tax they can either earn profit or they can do loss so all those are attached to your legal entity okay all transactions in oracle fusion have legal entity attached to it why it is attached because in case you have to pay your supplier it's an obligation for the legal entity that you have to pay the money to the suppliers for the goods you have procured or you have to deliver the goods or provide services to your customers for which you have taken the amount from them okay so legal entity is a body that has the obligation on both the sides next thing that we see here is the business unit now what is a business unit business unit is a oracle specific entity okay we define in it in oracle for some purposes now what are the purpose of defining a business unit it helps us for reporting so whenever you take or extract any report it has to be with respect to the business unit all your transaction processing has to be done with the business unit okay you, whatever roles or security you have to define for a particular user it has to be with respect to your business unit okay so these business units are attached to your legal entity okay so as i mentioned all the transaction in fusion are processed with respect to legal entities so whenever you are selecting any bu and based on the mapping of the bu your transaction would be posted into your ledger for that legal entity okay and this is the distribution center what is the distribution center distribution center is inventory or that is majorly held for doing the setups in your procurement area or to say supply chain area okay so this is the enterprise structure that we have to define in oracle fusion and before doing any implementation you have to make your clients understand how the structure looks and how the structure is defined in oracle fusion okay now let us see it from a practical world okay now let's now let's take example of this infusion corporation okay so if we try to map this real world diagram with our enterprise structure diagram that we just saw let's see how it maps okay so infusion corporation is enterprise okay infusion corporation is enterprise 
under this enterprise you will see different legal entities that are defined okay now below enterprise we have division okay let's see what type of division we have here so we have one us division we have europe division we have middle east division okay so what type of division is this this is geography based division okay so this is the geography based division that we have here okay now ledger okay so ledger is something that we would be defining in oracle but here will be your ledger based on your divisions okay so if you will see our us would be one ledger our uk would be one ledger our france would be one ledger okay so at this level you will be defining your ledger one thing to note is this flow is one to many relationship so from up to down it's one to many relationship one enterprise can have many divisions one division can have multiple sub ledger one ledger can have multiple legal entities okay so that's what you are seeing here one division can have multiple legal entities okay now let's take example of us division okay so in us division you can see the legal entities defined here okay so this is the legal entity that is with for us okay now what i mentioned earlier all your legal entities are registered with government so they have the applicable laws to abide to that's why they have to do the tax reporting okay so all the legal entities you will see tax reporting has to be done okay so us would have one legal entity uk has one legal entity france has one legal entity and all these three legal entities has to their tax reporting into their local geography okay now legal entities can hire employees so you will see legislative data group also defined here ldg okay now below legal entity we have business unit okay do we have business unit in our scenario let us see yeah so you can see for each legal entity they have defined one business unit for each legal entity they have defined one business unit and in oracle you would be doing all your transaction in this business unit okay so your transactions will have business unit that business unit will be attached to a legal entity and that legal entity will post transactions into your ledger okay this is how transactions flows from your sub ledger to your primary ledger okay so all your sub ledgers will have business unit at the header level for doing the transactions okay we will be seeing that in our subsequent classes but for now understand this that all your transaction would be having a business unit which will be ultimately attached to a legal entity okay now what you are seeing here is the cost center okay so cost centers are mainly used for management so here you see one cost center that we have in us is the sales one cost center that we have is marketing okay so this acts as your profit and loss unit okay so in our chart of account structure each of the cost center would be having one value attached to it one would be for sales one would be for marketing okay so based on your cost center you can do your reporting as well what is the profit and loss with respect to sales with respect to marketing so you can do that as well okay so here you can see for uk entity we have the marketing cost center for france entity we have the sales cost center okay so all your transactions would be having the cost cost center as your segment okay so this is how a enterprise structure is defined in fusion so this is the skeleton of the enterprise structure and this is how uh, in a real world scenario enterprise structure is defined and mapped into oracle in the subsequent class we would be seeing how a chart of account structure is defined 
what is the rapid implementation sheet how we have to set up the rapid implementation sheet and upload it in your fusion instance so we'll stop here today thank you thank you for attending session